Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have a question here from Dean on the email. This is headed, the heading of the email is Nikon D7500 versus the Panasonic G85, which is what I'm shooting this video with right now as we speak, the Panasonic G85. Great little camera. Uh, and I got the 12 to 35 f2.8 on it, if you're curious. Looking at the Nikon D7500 and Panasonic G85 as a hobbyist, not a professional. I enjoy doing mostly photography, but would uh, like to occasionally do video as well. I know the price point isn't the same. I just would like to know about how they shoot in photography since they are both 4K videos. Anything else you can tell me currently using the Nikon D5300? Thoughts, Dean. Well, thanks for your question, Dean. Um... The D7500 is an interesting beast. A lot of people kind of rained on Nikon's parade when it came out. They were thinking it was not the successor to the 7200 because it should have been equal to in megapixels or at least uh, at least equal to or greater, and it wasn't. Um, it's kind of a baby 500 is what it is, and um, I think it's still a great camera. And if you're heavily photography and some video, I think I would seriously look at it. I would get in the store, get your hands on it, see what you think. The GD5 is, if you're mostly video and some photography, is the way I would go with the GD5. It's, it's, it's a great photography camera too, but compared to the 7500, you're going to get better high ISO. You're going to get um, you know, a bit more of a pro-featured uh, body in the sense of that. Although the GD5 shoots very fast and has a very strong autofocus system. Um, the difference is we're looking at a micro four thirds sensor versus a DX sensor, an APS-C sensor. So, uh, you know, a smaller sensor. And the 7500 also is a very good high ISO APS-C sensor. So it is going to outperform the G85 by a significant margin in low light. And uh, so photography, I think you might be happier with the 7500. If you're doing a lot of video, then I would say by all means look at the G85 because it's a better video camera. But if you're more focus on photography, I think maybe the 7500 is the way for you to go. So, And I think you're going to see a big upgrade from the 53. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? 7500? Do you think you should go with the G85? Let me know in the comments below what you guys have to say about it. Let's help out Dean in making his decision here on what he should get. Always great to hear your feedback so we can get a well-rounded response and some other stuff. Maybe I hadn't thought of a few points you want to throw in. Um, thanks for your question, Dean. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.